by the right of the council, by the will of the force, welcome back into another episode of the galaxy famous Halcyon approved Jedi Talk Podcast. I am your co host, one of your co hosts of the High and Regular Council. Tom Oker, you are following us. This is an evil riff, Evan. At Jedi Talk Podcast on Instagram. You're watching us. Hello at youtube.com slash Jedi Talk for all the madness and the craziness in the Star Wars universe. There's an actor strike now, so who the hell knows the next time we're going to get ourselves some content, but that's not what we're here to talk about today. We might get into it a little bit, but most importantly, I have a priority for you all to introduce the gentleman to my right, who's called Man with the Legend. I call him Evan T. Boucher. Evan, how the hell are you? Adiga, and good journey, everybody. Doing pretty great. I've been re-watching Rebels, like, curiously, because the time, like, the clock is running. Ahsoka's, what, a month away? month and a half? Mm-hmm. Ahsoka's, you know, whenever my daughters do. So I'm only, like, I always keep thinking about that. I'm not even halfway done with the rewatch of, Re- of Rebels, so I got a lot to catch up on oh boy. in a short span of time. I'm trying to do, like, two episodes a day just to, like, try to keep up. Yeah. I While mean, also there's... reading Phasma, so we'll talk. That's not new. Phasma's been out for, like, six years, five years, something like that. So that's not new, but I'm finally getting around to it. Which people don't know, as as Evan has been rewatching Rebels, um, the cancer scare episode on Home Improvement get, makes him horny. So I just wanted to get that. That's out there. also what I've been watching too. Yeah. So I've been balancing Home Improvement. I watch like three of those a day. I love that show. Yeah, uh, Home Improvement, Rebels, and Phasma. So I did start yeah. checking the Home Improvement out. Um, did you watch it back in the day? Sure. Yeah, okay, when it was okay. on. Yeah, 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 definitely. I should make mention. Um, the third member of the council uh, was unable to make it last minute this evening. Um, he might call in um, this evening. I'm over here set up to Skype on my left. Uh, we tried calling him a few minutes ago. He's He is on the road. Um, I have to... Ooh, look, the other camera I have down here has got a weird angle. That's all right. I'm not fixing like that one. Leaning. I know. That's just like a test camera. I'm just going to lean. Yeah. It makes me look a lot fatter than I am. I it's mean, a Dutch I'm not, angle, though. I'm not it's fancy. skinny. I'm not skinny by any means, but I'm not fat. No. I... I'm like you're not I'm, a resort fatty. No, it's like I work out, but I also enjoy cookies. You know, yes. So but you're not a resort skinny either. <laughs> no, <so>. no, no. <laughs> yeah. Evan's what we call a skinny fat ass. Yeah. So yeah, he I eats do eat like it. So. Like like seven horses when he when he decides. Oh, oh is this Bradley? Here we go. Is this his new intro song? I have no idea. Ladies and gentlemen. He's so hey, thirsty. Hey guys, don't for... curse. You're on the car speakerphone. Okay. Oh, oh, Damn oh, oh. I'm oh, so that glad that he caught me because people there on on the on the web, I would have said something. Pretty multiple bad. somethings. Multiple somethings. <laughs> I'm not gonna edit that one out. So you don't have to. He didn't say anything. I was. Yet. We were. We were talking about the gentleman in question. We were. Yes. We were talking about the gentleman in question. He's also not skinny or not fat. So or not and not fat. Whatever. He's not skinny or fat. Oh, that's what we were talking about? Yeah. Yeah, we were talking about resort skinnies. Resort yep. fatties and resort skinnies. Yeah. How did that happen? I don't know. Well, because you were saying there, that you work out and the angle there is making yeah, you look oh yeah, fat, on, but you're not on fat. camera too, on yeah. on test camera. Yeah. Um there were some resort fatties and skinnies. I believe at it. Hollywood Studios the other day. I believe it. Um, I probably saw them. And you know, the parks have been oddly like not so crowded. They've yeah. been crowded and not so crowded. Yeah. Um and but but Hollywood Studios the other evening, even though when I got on the rise it was only an hour wait. Posted hour. Was it actually an hour? Uh no. Yeah, no. see I got it was on probably less, like what I got 40, on less time. I got forty five. Yeah. Probably yeah. Yes. Can you guys hear me okay? Yes we can. Yeah. Can you hear us? Wait, what's up? Are we recording? We are you recording. We've been recording for... What's up, Wingus and Dingus? About, oh, wait, wait, you know, which this, one is which? This is coming from a uh, warning if the children are, are listening to this. The 60-year-old men on TikTok were extra thirsty. <laughs> so he made a second Instagram, ladies and gentlemen, Brad Hughes. Brad's what's burden up, reviews, too. You know. Uh, for, that's Rich coming from the guy who orders a hamburger at a sushi restaurant, Tom Oakery. Have I done that? I don't know. If you did, even I'm ashamed. Uh, you... You would, is what I'm saying. I might have, but but <laughs> I I went and ate sushi with you, and you were repulsed the entire time. Oh, that's right, that's right. Yeah, I absolutely would not be <laughs> Wait, proud was of it. it. The, the good, like the sushi place we go to, Sukihana. Yeah, Sukihana, yeah. yeah that's a yep. good one. 
It is, and I'm fine with it. I just outside of like California rolls and yeah, that's, that's about it. I'm good. <laughs> Your basic B sushi. That sure am. Yeah. Brad's I'm, editing himself because his kids are in the car. It's a PG-13, Brad. Oh, good. See, see, his kids can't hear us, but he has to play it safe, so we should be really bad with him. <laughs> you should, and I think that'd be a hilarious bit for me to try to tiptoe around what you guys are saying. Uh, no. That would be great. You missed, <laughs> don't have to use the beep button at all today. You missed me say, <laughs> You missed me t- uh, uh, when I, well, I kind of forgot to introduce Evan the way because we're different tonight, right? You know, we've got video here. You're on lots Skype. Lots of video, lots of Skype. Yeah. I've got a test camera working. My iPhone's recording us right now. Hello there, YouTube. I don't know where to look. There's so um, many, so many just, things. Just look, Evan. Okay. 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 And then I said that I said that the cancer scare episode of Home Improvement makes Evan horny because he's watching the reruns of it. <laughs> um, Dude, some of that show does not age well, but it's still great. I still love it. It's the '90s. Home Improvement. Oh, Home Improvement's great. I love it. Yep. I loved it as a kid, but now, like seeing it again as an adult, I'm like, okay, I still love this. Probably even more so. My dad was basically freaking Tim. Like, I don't know. We watched it all t- all the time together, and I think Dad was trying to just emulate him and copy him. I could totally see that. He 100 percent was just like him, except for the all know, right. being the, a Lion fan like Tim was. Dad was a Packer fan, well, so that's well, the difference. Well, the Packers suck. Well, Packers let me get to a second. Back then, they didn't. Uh, real quick, to give a shout out to Julius from Starling Chevy, who's a brand new listener, and he subscribed to us when I was standing right next to him. So nice. If he's listening, I want to give a shout out to Julius. And then so, after yeah. you walked away, he unsubscribed. No, he didn't do that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> We're not talking about happily so. ever after here. That's true. After, 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 Ooh, we're talking about him. that. Yeah. That YouTube channel. That's right. That's all right. I have like 14 subscribers on Fourth Mother Box, I know, so I, I really maybe, have nothing to. I have a couple like, to bark about. Maybe 200, but that's nothing. Like that's all right. Well, we have near 3,000 on Jedi. Talk, hey, oh, so. that's something. Um, guys, you ready to talk about us, the Ahsoka trailer? Brad, you you want you want to get into that? Yeah. So first of all, I'm excited to go back and listen to this episode and hear all the horrible things you're doing to me on the soundboard. That'll be fun. <laughs> now I know what Kyle feels like. Um, but the Soka trailer blew my mind. Um, I, I, I feel like I say this every time a, a new Star Wars trailer comes out, but that was like one of the best trailers they put out for a show, for sure. It was better than the first Ahsoka trailer. Absolutely was yeah. better than the like, first And it Ahsoka wasn't a trailer. bad trailer, the first one, but like this one just made that, it made it look bad. Right. Absolutely. Um, yeah. there's, there's no question, like... I, I, I can't remember, I mean, well, yes, I can remember when, like, movie trailers make you emotional, but, like, this, like, TV show just felt, like, weird. Yeah. That, like, it like, felt cinematic. Yes. It felt oddly nostalgic because of, you know, it base, basically being Rebels Season 5. Um, Even Filoni has come out and said that. Whatever. Now. How many, were there, were there four Rebels Seasons? Yeah. There were four, right? Okay. Yeah, Rebels seasons, Season yeah. 5. It's going to, this is going to be... I think this is going to be the best Star Wars TV show they've ever done. Yeah, we were just talking about it earlier. I mean, yep. in the group chat, how it has that potential to be the best Star Wars TV show. Absolutely. I don't. Absolutely. I don't even think it has the potential. I think it's going to be. I think Mando was like a really good test to see what they could get away with in Star yeah. Wars, and I think they were going to. They're going to take all the stuff they've learned from Obi Wan, like with what not to do with Obi Wan and. What not to do with Andor, and what to do with Andor, because Andor was shot beautifully, and there's good things about the show. But I think that uh, this is going to be the Star Wars live action like magnum opus. I think this is going to kind of, I think it's going to tie in a lot of stuff. I think I think we're going to get a crap ton of fan service, a crap ton of cameos. I think it's going to be friggin' amazing. Yeah, we're going to address some of that in, like, yeah. in, our, in our questions later. But that's absolutely right. Um, yeah. That trailer was just so well put together. Um, the mentioning mentioning Anakin twice. Yes, like come on, dude. They started so to who, peel the pieces. This is speculation. Who is this dude? He said Anakin spoke highly of you. Well, he used to so be a Jedi. Like a, he's a guy. A, another a, oh, okay. He's another survivor of the propaganda so, that was, was Order like sixty six. <laughs> was he like a was he like an ex inquisitor or something that kind of went rogue on his own? Is that what they're kind of leading into? Not that we know of. Is that, why the, everyone... is that why I like the blades, that orange color? Well, in the trailer, don't forget he says we are no Jedi. And yeah. it is an yeah. orange color. This is, I think this is going to be staunchly different. Yeah. Than, like, this, 
maybe it's a little bit more towards like what Cal's doing in Survivor, which is like a little bit more of like an edgier gray Jedi. Yeah, I don't see the them being Inquisitor. Yeah, yeah. More, more leaning to the dark right, yeah. middle Jedi. Where, where, where Cal leans Left more light. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, because we get an Inquisitor later in the trailer, and like obviously you've seen Inquisitors in the past too, and oh. I don't think these two new characters are Inquisitors or Jedi at all. Well, I'm betting money that they're hunting down those two. Because that is very much a master and apprentice relationship. You can already tell, even yeah. in the trailer. Yeah. I don't think they're hunting Ahsoka. I think they're hunting those two. That would make sense. That'd be cool. That that actually plus, would make a lot of sense, yeah. Plus, also, how many times are we going to see a, a, a Inquisitor track down a Jedi? And kill, like, come on. Especially Ahsoka. <laughs> There's been, like, but, five that have tracked down Ahsoka. Yeah, but that could I, just be I it. Could, she could be a legend, and they're like, we got to get her. That's true. She's killed all the ones she's dealt with, so... Yeah. Uh, well, good. I'm glad we're on the same page because I I loved it. I'm glad. Oh hell yeah. Well, talk about like actual, um, like like revealing like w- the what what stuck out to me other than the Anakin stuff was when Sabine Wren called Ahsoka Master. Yeah. I'm like okay. So apparently, yeah. Ahsoka was kind of training her in at least lightsaber combat, and then well, gave up. Kanan started. Yeah. Kanan so started. Ahsoka picked taught up her how to Kanan. use the dark saber. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So much, yeah. I, I found that interesting, especially because we kind of see Ahsoka as not a Jedi at all, and then now they're like calling her Master. It's weird. I know, I know. I uh, maybe maybe that'll get explained. Who the hell knows? It, it definitely will. Yeah, hundred percent will. They're not just gonna throw around terms willy nilly with Dave Filoni being there when it's his character. What what's what's your guys like legit hype level like one to ten for this show right now? Are you more excited than you were for Mandalorian season three? More excited than um, Kenobi. I'm more excited for Mando. I'm not quite as excited as I was for Obi Wan. Obi Wan, I was like, this is going to be the gr- the greatest. It didn't pan out for me. I probably had too high expectations for, for that going in. To be fair, but I I think this is the most excited I've been for a Star Wars live action show. Period. Oh, do that. I'm like at a I'm like at an eight and a half, maybe not quite movie level, but okay. like. Definitely probably the most excited I've been since episode nine. This has got to be the closest to movie level for like a TV show, for like a streaming service show. Yeah, and that, like you said, ties into the the cinematic value of the trailer, how it felt like a movie trailer. And it's eight episodes, right? They said it's limited to eight. Eight, yeah. So, I mean, that always, well, uh, not always, that usually works out for Star Wars with Mando season one and two, and I guess that's it, but... are they calling Ahsoka like limited series? Brad, Maybe have they heard? haven't said limited. I yeah, I just pulled that out. I don't know if that's actually. I don't think it's limited. I think this is going to be an ongoing thing. I really okay. do, Good. especially if it does well. Oh, yeah. I mean, I could see this getting four or five, six seasons. Yeah, I mean, 100%. Oh. there's so much to wow. explore with this time period. But and you've got a built-in great villain with Thrawn that looked amazing. He looked, I didn't know Steve Byrne got cast as Thrawn. <laughs> that was exciting. Um, Guys. Ugh. Yeah, I mean, come on. on Thrawn's Asian. It's the internet. Um, <laughs> what are you going to do? I, I just, I think that I don't want them to milk it because, you know, there's, there is something to be said. That's, I think it's one of the reasons why Rebels was so great. It was kind of short, sweet, and to the point. And I don't really think you want to wear these characters out and drag it all out. But you have a built in phenomenal villain with Thrawn. And I am, I can't believe we're getting him in live action. I know. And that he looks great, too. He looked great to me. Yeah, same. He looked very good, and our um, friend of Captain Keevan thought the same on Instagram. Oh yes, thought, yes they thought, did. thought he looked like uh, Brad. You want to do it for us? Uh, he thought Thrawn. She thought Thrawn looked like gay. He was a papa papa. He was a blue papa papa. Please. <laughs> <laughs> another thing. I will get a DJ horn. Hey, I think another thing people on the internet are overlooking is he's aged since we saw him in Rebels. Time has gone by, so yeah. he's not going to look exactly yeah. the same as he did. Years, right? Yeah, like, he's been on the back of a space whale for right. thirty years. <laughs> yeah, so come on, he's he's a barnacle by at this point, a space barnacle. Also, I had I had said for years, Evan, even before Tom was on the show, that like there was no way they could pull the purgles off in live action. Yeah, I remember I you always wrong. saying that. They yeah. look freaking dope. They look yeah. fantastic. <laughs> they look yeah. Oh, you know what else was cool? The seeing Ezra's speech in live action. Yeah. Yeah. Like from that was from the series uh, series finale of Rebels, wasn't it? Yeah, um, yeah, it was. I am 
convinced that what we're seeing of Ezra is like flashbacky. There's no way that's what he's going to be like in the show. This is it's a misdirect. Oh no, he's the Inquisitor. That's my bold prediction. I think I I think so too. Yeah. I think so too. I Even though so. the Inquisitor I, has a name, but it, I think it's him. Hmm. I, I, it very well could be. I mean, if you're spending that much time with the dark side, and as we know, he was kind of fragile with the dark side anyway, kind of, you know, him and Maul had yeah. that relationship. It was very kind of easy to, not very easy, but he was susceptible to the dark side. So I think, uh, I don't think the, 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 that people are going to be uh, expecting it. I think the casual fan is going to be like, yeah, I get to see Ezra. It's like, no, nah, dude, he spent 30 years with Grand Admiral Thrawn. There ain't no way you're getting the Ezra from Rebels. I could see that. Maybe it'll be a good comeback story. He's saved. Oh, yeah. It'll be another you know, That'll be a thing. great redemption yeah. thing for Ezra. But if, if he is the Inquisitor, I which I don't think so. I would love they just doubled down it. and make it bad. Ooh. I would, I would love, love it, too, because that never happens. That would be nuts. I, yeah. Give me, it's something that, that's never we've never seen before. We've never really seen anybody go good and bad and stay bad. I have a uh, yeah. I, I I have an, an ask, and I made mention on the podcast before, but are we gonna is Sabine Wren going to be the the Harley Quinn of the Halloween season? Oh yeah, I sure hope not. <laughs> <laughs> I hope not too, but it's gonna happen. Yeah, I think that, so. her and Ahsoka. Uh, Ahsoka is probably gonna be one too. But Ahsoka's just... been around. I mean, I know Sabine yeah. has, but now this is the first time live action. People don't give a shit about. Well, here, here's the reason why Harley Quinn was so easy, and the, the same reason Sabine would be easy. Or Sabine would be easy is because there's not much to the costumes, that, but it's very distinct. Like when you see it, you know exactly right. who it is. That's why it was so easy. You put your hair in pigtails and do half red, half blue, and the, the daddy's girl T-shirt, and there you go. That's your Halloween costume. Yeah, Slow s- effort. Yeah, Suicide Squad made it easy to be Harley Quinn. Yeah, yeah. So I think it very well could be. I hope not. I, but I, I'm betting money if you go to uh, Slutty Sabine Run. He's not so scary. You're going to see uh, a an increased price for the ticket, and you're going to see a lot of Sabines walking around. <laughs> yeah. Are you guys going this year to uh, not so scary? Back. No. No. Oh, I shouldn't no, have asked. No. Well, I I actually might, um, but I'm... for different reasons. <laughs> I want to. I wish I could, but no. They they don't we'll deserve see. my money. We will see. I, I, I might do it once just to I, just to do it. If they add something cool, we'll we'll see. And if this is the same exact party this year that it has been in the past, I probably won't. It will be. But it always if is. If they add something new or like a new Yeah, I know. We're but getting... a few years ago when they were adding all those cool like you know those cool things to the the rides that was that made it for me. Oh my God, I love Space Mountain during the party. It's so much fun. I do, I do too. Yeah. I'm a sucker for that kind of stuff. Yeah, as a local. Me too, especially during uh, Mickey's the Christmas party when you're jamming to heavy metal Christmas music. That's so much fun. Uh, the That's only, awesome. The only like new thing I remember they uh, said for that party was uh, the Sanderson sisters. Um, but Daisy, Minnie. Oh and yeah, they already did announce it. Clara Bell. Yeah, they. The yeah. f- not Fab Five, I guess, because yeah. of Clarabelle, but yeah. that version of the Sanderson sisters, right. which I don't know. I don't go crazy for Hocus Pocus anyway, so whatever. Hocus Pocus 2 was yeah, what it was. I don't, I don't get it. Yeah. I've never even seen the first one. Same. So um, I know we're going to answer a lot of questions about the Ahsoka when we get to listener questions, so maybe we can pivot a little bit, um, unless you guys had any last thoughts that we wouldn't answer in our listener questions. Well, like. Drawing out the Ahsoka series to multiple seasons, a lot of that depends on how the movie goes, because all of these TV shows are building up to one movie. Well, yeah, well, yeah. So if the movie ends and there's no way to continue that story, then you can't have season five, six, seven. Right? But Does the movie end was... all of it, or what? I would think so, but I think I would hope so. Yeah, I would hope so. Now, here's the thing. Remember in episode nine when we hear Ahsoka Tano's voice talking to Ray? Yeah. Yep. Does that mean that she's dead by then? There's no rule I've asked saying this either for, way. Yeah, yeah, yeah no there idea. is no rule. But everybody we heard, we perceived was one with the Force. Yeah. So you can make so the assumption that, that she's dead, but she could also just talk to her through the Force. Luke and Leia did it in the original trilogy. So That's true. You don't have to be that dead. But everybody else in that scene in episode nine was, was dead. So you can assume it, but there's holy no rule. shit! What if the Ahsoka like series finale leads us to showing us that moment of her doing something else and having to communicate with Ray? <sighs> with Ray, you just yeah. get just like you stopping. Just yeah, oh my she's doing God. something and she just kind of stops and it's like, oh I have to talk to God. Ray right now. And Lucas she just film. Dude, talks. That 
Holy crap, that's a great idea, dude. And maybe. Oh my god. Maybe Ahsoka idea. pops into episode ten. Oh. One last thing before we wrap up this yeah. talk up. That was the same little perch that Grogu was on, correct? Wait, where? When? In the trailer. In the trailer? Remember when that they're they're going up to the, like the little the monument thing? That was where Grogu sat on. Oh, the, the seeing stone. Where he reaches out to Luke, right? I didn't yeah. think so, but yeah, I guess it could be. I'm not gonna it play like it because it it you're on Skype and I don't want to kick you off my of my Chromebook. So I'm gonna go back and look at that. Is after. that on Tython? Tython? Is that the name of that planet? Yeah, the, yeah. I'm like, I'm the name like of the ninety percent sure that was it. It could be. That I would be cool if they I went back there. So, but it could be. I'd be totally down with that. Hell yeah. That that was a fun planet. That was like the the return of Boba Fett. Yeah. Fennec Shand, yeah. Good stuff. So yeah, we'll talk more when we get to our listener questions. By the way, Brad, are you able to bring up Instagram on your phone by chance? Uh I can't. I'm driving. Okay. <laughs> well, he's doing the driving. Okay. He's doing yeah, I'm the in the car. I'm on I ninety five. You can bring up Instagram. Yeah, I can. Okay, okay. So when we get to listener questions, we'll do that, Evan. Okay. Um I'm uh, passing exit two sixty eight on I ninety five. All right, if you I'm see if you see Brad out there, will you will you throw a milkshake at him? What flavor? Yeah, do that. Throw, what flavor? Strawberry you frost. Okay, strawberry okay. frosty. That's right. Uh, looks like <laughs> looks like me and my buddy Mike are shotgunning a, a strawberry frosty. More information on that <laughs> coming up. So, um, uh, I don't know if you saw this though. Real quick about about Ahsoka. Did you see they put Jason Sindula with a different hair color in like the Lego set? For Ahsoka, yeah, but no, Lego, yeah. Lego gets made so far in advance. They get concept art and they go from oh. that. So, like, they built Kylo Ren's shuttle that we see in the Force Awakens. But they built a gray version in Lego. This is Kanan and Hera's kid. He's got to right. be in Ahsoka. Yeah. So no, I think he's gonna be there. I think maybe the hair color might be wrong or something. Oh, okay. Because like Lego gets stuff way so way super far in advance. Okay. Um, but I I did not see that, but I hope he's in the show. Me too. The thing I'm excited for, because I am I I know it gets flack, and I don't think it's a great show, but the TV show Resistance, I like. And Kazuto's Ziono, right? Kazuto, Ziono? Yeah. His dad is in the Ahsoka trailer, so seeing him in the show is going to Oh, that's be cool. right. I remember when you said that. Yeah. We get a little extended look at him here in this new trailer, and it just, it's cool. It's a cool I didn't connection. I that, but that's awesome. That this is tying in Rebels and Clone Wars and Mando and the TV show Resistance. It's tying in everything, so... It's also tying in vintage Kinner figures, which we forgot oh, yeah. to bring up. Yes, that was the coolest thing. Yeah. I can't um, wait to buy the new toy trailer. of that figure. I know, man. I, I, you know, I, I told Tom thing. I saw that in my first watch through, and the only reason I noticed it was because Disney has the uh, wave two of that le- that uh, TVC pack, or I'm sorry, okay, the vintage boomer. collection pack at the, the stores, and I just had looked at it, and I was. Looking at R2 because I'm like, man, be, I, I really want this, but it's like 90 bucks. Oh, my God. <laughs> so Jeez. I had, just, I had just seen what that figure looked like, so it was fresh in my brain. Dude, I can't wait for this to be sold at the Droid Depot, too, because you know they're going to have a little yeah. RC version have of that. Have you seen the, the Droid Depot around. popcorn bucket? Yeah. I have, yeah. I did see that. I might get, my parents are in town, and they got one the other day, and it looks awesome. That's cool. Nice. My family's coming it's to like town in a couple like weeks, the, like so we'll have to... Droids. Yeah, it's like the same size as the actual droids. Yeah. But my family's coming in a couple it, weeks, so we'll up. have to get uh, get them all together for one day. Get Austin nice. on the show again. Ooh. Heck yeah, dude. Let's do it. Yes. When are they coming? I'll tell you guys later. We'll talk okay. about it. Okay. Sweet. Okay. Um, y'all, uh, Evan trigger warning. But Bob Iger was extended another two years. Yeah. Now I want warning for me. Yeah, well, you know what's man? He's he's digging his heels. You see what he said about the actors and the writer strike? He says it's disturbing, and he doesn't see what they're trying to get out of it. And he's a livable wage, maybe. He's saying, you know, see, like- this is this is the shitty thing about these strikes is when people see here actors are striking, they think they're all Tom Cruise, Harrison Ford's, you know, yeah. um, Scarlett Johansson's, Jennifer Lawrence's. When it's those are like the one fucking percent. Yeah. We're we're talking about the people who live off of like quick TV spots, you, you know, on like King of Queens and like Glorified shows like that. Extra work. Yeah, yeah, and like writers, people too. The writers' yes. guild strike. Yes. That's even bigger than the actor strike. Yes. Some of them just don't write for X amount of time, and then they do write again, and then they can't get a new gig, and then back and forth. And see, this is why I'm not excited about Bob Iger right now because they throw this stupid AI character thing in the All Star Resort. 
and like is like a little introduction to what they're planning on doing with gutting entertainment. Wait, what? Yeah, it's the, like the about. you know the photo pass box. Instead of having a photo pass cast member there, it's that for photo pass. But it also takes away the character because it just animates a character in your picture for you. It's like a magic shot. Hey, is Darkwing Duck an option? No, no, but that still no, wouldn't be not. cool. I, I still wouldn't of, want that. It's getting yeah. rid of photo pass and entertainment. So. Well, they tried this a few years ago. This isn't that's not a new thing. I mean, they I remember right. seeing it at uh, on Main Street with Tinkerbell, and it was the weirdest experience ever. You walk up and a machine like makes a noise, and you're like, "Did it take a photo?" <laughs> <laughs> it's basically that same thing. It's terrible. And then you get yep. a tinkle in your backside. So wait, they they do. That's only when Kyle's there. Um, Dude, they, uh, he sucks. They they, they uh, so they have us at the at what resort now? All Star, the poor people's resort. Oh. That is so strange. Yeah, go look at it. Uh, Disney Parks. Um, I also shared it in my story because I I didn't like it. It looks. Send, send me a link to it. I'll be stopping here in a little bit. I'll be okay. able to take a look at it. Okay, because that, that's very odd to me. It's just I don't. Look, like looking positively, and I said this to Evan over text. You know, a change in leadership right now could could be disastrous. I'm not saying like like so quick, but Disney is to steal a line from Allison Chains down in a hole, and it's it's yeah. Bob Iger's got to pull Their stocks under ninety dollars right now. Yeah. That's insane. It's t- I don't think the buy. board has a. I don't think the board has faith in anybody that that they trust to put in charge right now. I really don't. I know you love Joshy D, but man, I mean, he's, he's clearly not ready, but, um, I'm saying this like, I know how to run a fucking like <laughs> multi-billion dollar company. I don't. Some people do. And some people don't. I don't. That's all I'm going to say. I don't dislike the guy. I think he's more genuine than he is allowed to be. Okay. That's my take on him. That's I've fair. met him. Um, when I had an interaction with him, I was expecting this phony baloney. I was also working as a cast member when I met him and he was not phony at all. There was none of that. Like, hi, I'm Josh DeMauro. Like none of that corporate feel. He like genuinely cared. He had just gotten here from Disneyland. I could be wrong, but I didn't get the phony vibe from him. Um, I, Hey, he could be full of crap. Probably no. But when I met him, I didn't get that from him in person. That's fair. Just because you're a nice guy, which I've met him once too, and he was a nice guy. But just because you're a nice guy doesn't mean you're going to make good business decisions. So no, for sure, he, he is a nice guy. Sure. That's what. I, that's all I'm going to say. Yeah, I, I mean, I, who? I I still think, man. I think that he is playing ball to get where he wants to be. Yeah, they all. Because I, I don't. Do. They I don't all have I don't, to. I, and I think if he ever does become CEO. I, I don't think he would do bad. I mean, he wouldn't be it wouldn't be as bad as Chafek. I mean, it could give it could be way worse, man. I, I just don't think any I just don't think anybody has faith in anyone else right now. Is it bouncing on and off still? No. Um, I don't think they have faith in anybody right now. The further we go into this, the more my brain turns on like Tom mode, where I'm like, Chapek might have been a scapegoat. Because it's starting to kind of look that way. Yeah, but, yeah, of course. Nah, dude, he was he was an idiot though. Let, let's isn't. not pretend. Supreme let's not pretend, idiot. Let's not pretend that that was like, you know, uh, he was just the fall guy. I mean, let's let's go full conspiracy here for a second. Tom, Tom, just lean forward. Um, <laughs> yes. <laughs> you know, they worked very closely with the Chinese government to get Shanghai built because you have to in China. Yeah. I wouldn't be shocked if China was like Mr. Iger. We're gonna cancel. <laughs> Uh, oh, no, I'm not going to go full with it. Um, Mr. Kids Iger, like, car. hey, this is this could be really bad. You might want to take a step back because things aren't going to go well. And he was like, you know what? That sounds great. Bob, remember how you said you wanted to be CEO? <laughs> 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 well, guess what? You get, I'm stepping down, and then he's coming back. I don't know. I'm surprised he's sticking around, to be honest. But I also see this reminds me a lot of pre-Michael Eisner Disney from the 80s. A lot. Where everything... Nothing's going right. They they are making all these movies. Not a single one is a hit. Yeah. Indiana Jones is going to lose a crap ton of money. Uh, everything. I think maybe everything except Little Mermaid has bombed. I mean, like, yeah. they haven't had an animated hit since Frozen. I know Frozen 2 did very well, but you don't ever hear anyone talk about it. The, the songs aren't in the parks. Like, did Incredibles, you know, it's just curiosity. Did Incredibles right. 2 come, after, come out after 
Frozen. No, that, no, was, that was before Frozen that Two. Was, was yeah, before. I was still in okay. Indiana when that came out, and Frozen Two came out when I was living here. Two actually. Novembers ago. Yeah, yeah. like in oh, the November damn, of 2019, dude. I think. Yeah. yeah. All right. I mean, Toy Story Five also made a crap ton of money, but like I mean, four? nobody like or four, yeah. yeah, but nobody likes it. So. Man, I that don't, may have been the last movie it. that made them a lot of money, but like yeah. I, you know, I hate the whole "go woke, go broke" saying. Guardians Three really made them a shit ton of money. That has a lot to do with it, man. I feel like it has a lot to do with it. Yeah, well, when my dad comes, you can talk to him about that because I'm sure he's gonna talk. I've heard all it from of my dad nonstop off. this week. Trust me. Yes. Right, that's he was asking me about be. Elemental and why he told me why he wouldn't go see it, and I was like, "Then ask." But okay. Right. <laughs> we'll be waiting in line for Pirates, and we will be like talking about. I don't know. Like we'll be like talking about who knows what. Remember the time we rode pirates when we were a kid, Dad? And he'll be like, "Yeah, totally. It wasn't woke back then." I'm like, "Okay." Well. <laughs> you know, Brad, I'm not going to see and, and Evan. I'm not going to see Elemental because it'll groom me, groom me into thinking it's a good movie. Hey, oh, I didn't see that coming. <laughs> it'll <laughs> groom me into wasting money because I'm going to see it on Disney Plus. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I mean, I haven't seen Stranger Strange World. I haven't seen any of Same, their last. I still releases. haven't watched it. I still haven't seen Luca. Oh, I, Luca's I don't, good. Oh, I Luca's great. Saw, I just recently saw Encanto like a few months back. Encanto. I saw good too. Encanto uh, is okay. What was the, the soundtrack's better? What was, yep. What was the one about jazz and the black dude? Oh, Soul. Soul. I did not think Soul was I liked good. Soul. I liked it okay. It wasn't anything. I, I'm not interested in seeing it again. Same. The last good Pixar movie to me was Inside Out. So. Was Onward I'm Pixar? To think. Onward was Pixar. Oh, Onward was Pixar. See, so, I yeah. forgot Onward, about it. That's a great Ooh. movie. Onward is the last love that movie. Pixar. That's a great movie. I forgot about that one. But yeah, I, I do love that movie a lot. But I forget but, what yeah, the... I, Disney's what, in a toilet. Yeah, I forget what they were saying, how like maybe they need to figure out their streaming strategy versus putting the movie in theater. And I'm like, actually, how about you just make good movies? That might be a good start. Yeah. Just make something good. You haven't yeah, made anything that, good in like the, five years. Problem. I mean, look at when... They're, the Marvel movies stopped making money. It was when they stopped being good. People are done with it, and you're oversaturating it. Nothing feels special anymore. Yeah. You can't just have 4,000 Marvel properties a year and, and, A, expect people to have enough time to keep up with all of it. I didn't know Secret Invasion was a thing and that it was even coming out until it was on Disney Plus the day it came out. Yeah, that two was episodes all behind. I'm two in and two behind. I haven't it's even boring. started. It's dude, boring. It's boring. Like, it's very boring. I, that's, I, I hear you guys talk about it on Fourth yeah. Mother Box, and I just I'm gonna I I am I am personally going to keep up with the MCU because I think they're going to do something in the next phase that that is going to make people interested again. And what they need to do is close this time paradox thing because everyone hates this. <laughs> everyone I've, hates. I've been it. saying that before. It was cool. And everyone's now joining me. I'm like, hey. Oh, I agree with where you. Where y'all idiots I, we've been? We've always said it's just it's always cheap writing. Yeah. Oh yeah, oh yeah. So We've all agreed it's cheap writing. Yeah. yeah. But no, I'm not saying like you two. I'm just saying like general public. Now everyone's like, I'm tired of this yeah. time multiverse stuff. It's like, yeah. Well me too. to to wrap up the Iger yeah. talk, he said that we're that we're pulling back on Marvel and Star Wars content because it's oversaturated. Star well, Wars hasn't been oversaturated. Like, good. It's been how long since the last thing Star Wars? I think Star Wars they're just a little oversaturated. Games. Look, there there's there's a per, they're pretty cut in half about Kenobi. Andor yep. seems to lean one good way versus yeah. not. Um, people like us are the only ones watching Bad Batch. Yeah. Um, you know, Mandalorian yep. 3 was not well received. True. Com- outside of, yeah, the Gen Pop did not really like Mando Season 3. And there's some decent criticism there. And then Ahsoka could make or break but Star Wars future. What's the next thing after Ahsoka? Skeleton Crew. Which is how long after? I think it's the end of the year. Yes, yeah, so that's like a pretty good. Gap. That comes out in November, I thought. And now we do have the Young Jedi Adventures continuing. Isn't it next? Isn't it? So, oh, it's next May, isn't it? I can't remember. Skeleton Crew? No, Skeleton Crew's coming out this year. Yeah, is it this year? Uh, that's that's what they said. Oh, it's November. That's right, because like it's around Thanksgiving time, right? My guess is they're going to push that's it. That's too much stuff back to back. No, my guess. No, Ahsoka ends at to like me, early you October. Should do one thing a year. Yeah, yeah, I'm okay. I'm with, with you there. I like that strategy. I'm okay with one a year because yeah, one project, event. whether yes. it's a movie one or a TV a show, yeah, one movie or one show, unless it's like mm-hmm. Bad Batch or something smaller on a smaller. Yeah, yeah, yeah. animation is different. Yeah. Than that. But one live action thing a year is, is plenty. I mean, this year we'll, we will have had Obi Wan Kenobi, Andor. <laughs> Wait, was Obi Wan Kenobi this year? Yep. Mm-hmm. No. 
No, that was last Penelope year. Penelope was last year. Good right? Lord, I'm sorry. Oh, dang, okay. God, Jesus. The moment I found out yeah, I was having right. a kid well, this year went out the door, so. Right. Um, yeah, Kenobi was last uh, yeah, year. Yeah, one, one thing a year. So Just had, one live action but show But this year, year we, had, we still had Andor. We had Andor, Mando season Mando, three. And then Ahsoka. And now Ahsoka and Skeleton and Crew. Skeleton That's crew. a lot. And Bad Batch, but plus like you said, Fallen it's Order. animation. Plus, plus Bad Survivor. Batch. Yeah. Wait, Andor was not this year. Andor yeah. was 2022. It was? Okay. Yes. Still, though. Was it? How no, many things are we right. looking at now? So let's say Mando, Ahsoka, Bad Batch. That's three. Am I missing anything? Plus Survivor, but that's kind of like tangentially connected. We had Celebration this year. Um, I think that's it. Still, though, four things versus one thing, like you're saying, Brad. Like, yeah, one thing is, is, is how it forgot. should be. Plus, you have you have a whole year to build up. Think about how magical. You're never going to be able to recreate this because it was truly just a magical experience. It's never going to happen again for us fans. But remember the year before The Force Awakens? That The way they marketed The Force Awakens should be taught in college classes. They... 13 months out, they released the very first teaser trailer. And like every two or three months, you got a little taste of something else. But it was never anything substantial. I've, uh, but it kept interest. Yeah, you're absolutely right. And at the same time, Brad, again, you, you all know my story about becoming a Star Wars fan. I saw Force Awakens opening weekend. But same time J.J. Abrams was doing Force Awakens, Snyder was doing Batman vs. Superman. And the two of them are friends and they kind of like pranked each other while on set. Like, Zack Snyder shot a stormtrooper getting arrested into the back of a Gotham City uh, oh, police I car. <laughs> I didn't know that. <laughs> um, and, like, sent it to Abrams. And, like, Abrams did something where with, like, the Batmobile and, like, sent it back to him. And, like, it, it was it, it was so cool. So that's I, funny. I don't know oh, if a lot of people really know that. Cool. Yeah. Disney would did, did not allow that those? right now. Yes. I will find. I know I've seen the picture before. I will send the picture after we record. Nice. That's awesome. That's cool. Yeah. But. Like you said too, this whole thing right now kind of feels like the eighties Disney, like early eighties Disney. It also kind of feels like the end of Eisner. It's like a combo of the end of Eisner's time and early eighties Disney, where it's just like a lot of confusion. Just, I, I really think Disney's in more trouble than they're letting on. I'd be very yeah. curious to see how their next earnings call goes because it wasn't going well before this, and now with Indiana Jones bombing. And all the other stuff that's bombed, which I don't think it deserves. We've talked about how much we love. The Indy last didn't year. deserve to bond. Yeah, it does. Nah, it didn't deserve to bond. No, nah. come on, man. It's, well, it's the it's general not... public seems to agree with uh, me. The general public yeah, that I've seen talk about this movie, seen the movie. keeps saying it's <laughs> woke. No, no, so here's the problem I have with people saying Indy Five sucks. It's like it's too woke. No, it's not. No, nah, it's not. At it's all. not. It's not at all. It's not. Again. Guys. A Nazi killed a black woman. Okay, that's <laughs> it's not, not woke. woke. Yeah. On any level. No. And Helena Shaw played a good role. It's not like she's not taking over for Indy. <laughs> it's it's like... No, and she was a straight woman in the, in the film. <gasps> they made a point to point yeah. that out. <laughs> I know. It's it's not a woke movie. This was an Indiana it's Jones not, no, movie. He's, a, he's 80 years old. Actually, he turned... Today's his birthday. Harrison Ford. Yeah. Happy 81st birthday. 81st, yeah. From Jedi Town. And And like... The, you. you can't critique a movie without seeing it. And so all of this crap with people saying this stuff that haven't seen it is baffling to me. Yes. I would love if anyone of our listeners has seen this movie and does think it's woke, please come on the show. No, I the, need to hear explanations. We did get a few responses when I asked in our story about yeah. what they thought. Some people thought it was mid. Somebody yep. had very low expectations and they did not like they met the low mid expectations. Is fine. I agree it's mid, but I also think Temple of Doom is mid. Yeah, and Indy 5 is better at Temple of Doom. I agree. I, I, I mean, there's only three really good Indiana Jones movies, and it's and it's uh, Raiders, uh, Last Crusade, and Indy 5. Damn the other story. two are just okay movies. Um, That's right. We could talk about this. Hit the, Evan, hit Evan. the Evan shut up button. Nah, nah, he's not talking, but... <laughs> oh, happy I know, but I, 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 feel like I just want to hear it on the playback. I did. I hit it. Okay, thank you. <laughs> um, well, let's talk about some good stuff. Uh, well, well, first I love off, you, Evan. I'm just kidding. Disney, we love each other. Disney should be shaking in their boots, and I'm playing Master Puppets right now. But I have to mention what they announced today officially: a Stranger yeah. Things four house at Halloween at Horror Nights. I better get a Master of Puppets room. 
or I'm telling you, bro, that is 100% happening. I can't wait. I'm gonna take my daughter in there. I don't care. She's like she'll be like that, two dude, or three months. That that was like Not one of the it. biggest scenes of that season. Yes, that was like that scene was going viral. If you think that's not happening, you're out of your mind. Oh, I'm gonna spend every waking moment in that room, man. This is all a different <laughs> language to me, but if people love it, Universal will do it because they are not stupid. Yep. They know what they're doing. Stranger Things is well. Hot. That's not true. They made Fast and the Furious supercharged. But didn't they just <laughs> announce that they're making a roller coaster for them? Yeah, that's a coaster. You could theme a Th- roller that's coaster what it Fast be. and Furious. Yeah, that's what and it should have been. Yeah. Fast and the Furious Wait, roller what? coaster. They announced a, a Fast and the Furious Hollywood. roller coaster. Hollywood. Oh, it was Hollywood. Oh, yeah. oh okay. Oh. No, I'm, talking about, I'm talking about the ride at Universal Orlando. The that's Fast and the Furious that's one the where... worst attraction in Orlando. I still wish I, the, I haven't done it. I wish I would have. Have you ridden it before, Evan? No, I missed it when I went. I wish I would have. It was oh, closed when dude, I went. It's you, so bad. I love it. I want to do it with you. Like, the, like, <laughs> <I do too. laughs> like the three of us should go on and then do like a live it's reaction gonna, about it. Like after it's just it's so bad. If you hate screens, dude, that ride is going to trigger I, you hardcore. <laughs> I wish I just wasn't like, I don't know. Like, like we say spoiled on it, but I wish I wasn't spoiled on it. Cause like, I already know the whole, like Vin Diesel's as big <sighs> as a helicopter in one scene and. You sit yeah, in this party when you, bus. When you like, see it, it's a oh, the it's party a, bus. It's a treat for all the senses. <laughs> and and like, oh, good. Oh, good. And like, like, there's like, it's like sexist too at the same time because there's like idiot women walking up in like bikinis. Nice. It's like, yeah. What, what, that's like what that's, the hell? That's like, amazing. It that's looks like perfect. something that would be on College Street in Charlotte, North Carolina. That's <laughs> a reference three people will understand. That's right. But you know what else people won't understand is with the looks that we got this week at some Black Series that we're getting. Dude. One Obi-Wan Jedi Legend, and then, Brad. Give me that. The Qui-Gon Force Ghost Black Series that we that. saw. I week. have not seen either one of these announcements. Ooh, this dude. is breaking news to me. What? You've I got to no see one. the Obi the, uh, the Qui-Gon, Qui-Gon Ghost Force Ghost, dude. Amazing. Oh, my God. I thought you saw this. Yeah. Holy shit. Dude, you just – I got to tell Holly. And then there's a Qui-Gon Jinn Force Ghost Black Series figure. Yeah. And it looks <gasps> ridiculous. Then Have her pull the, it up on her phone. Yeah. Tell the, her to go to Instagram. The yeah. Vader with the cracked helmets in there, too. But yeah. like, Qui-Gon steals the show because it's a freaking Qui-Gon Force I Ghost. Like, the, come on. I saw the the Vader cracked helmet, but I, for some reason, didn't see the Qui-Gon one. Those pre-orders tomorrow? I have no oh, idea. Oh, I'm pre-ordering that. Is oh, it yeah. in the, please tell me it's in the good packaging. Yes, it, it, yes, it, is. it is. Yep. Thank God, it's right? Thank is it on Amazon? Oh, I don't know. I don't think okay. it's for sale yet. It's nice that at least one so. company will figure out fan reaction and fix things. So mm-hmm. Black Series is thank- thank- thankfully fixed. All right, let's uh, blow through the rest of this news so we get to well, the They also, questions. Brad, did the pre-order today for the Scout Trooper helmet. Oh, that's right. Brad, Brad must be like... Blowing he himself. passed out because he's like, yeah. "Oh my gun, and a and a scout trooper." Ugh. Yeah, I miss I, I missed the, the scout trooper helmet. Oh, yeah. that's sick. Pre orders came that. out today for that, so I'm gonna wait till that hits Disney and so I get Same. my discount. Same. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> right. Yeah. Um, real quick, guys. This is no shock, but job listings hints at a Jedi Survivor sequel already. They're asking for senior uh, FX artist on the same engine that Fallen Order and Survivor ran with a people I'm top not experience. By this news Do you think they the cap least. it at a trilogy or? Um, I'll tell you after I play the third game because <laughs> okay, fair. video games, you, you could bleed that a lot more than you can like yeah. TV shows or movies. So, But um, if Cal's in a pivotal spot in his story right now, so if, if, if the story ends the right way, I don't want another game. Unless it's maybe a spinoff of like Kata or uh, somebody else. Um, there's going to be an Outlaws and a Hasbro Star Wars panel for San Diego Comic-Con. That oh, interesting. interesting. Yeah. The Hasbro Star Wars. Oh, now, that's they're going to announce the friggin' the ghost. that's what that's for. The Haslab. They're going to announce the uh Haslab. That's right. Are you getting the ghost, Brad? Oh, without question. Is that something you're going to get, Evan? I'm 100% no. back in that. I think I'm I, I think that's going to be the first Haslab that I back. I think I'm going to commit if, to it. I hope it's TVC too. <sighs> I say no so like adamantly because like not because I don't like it. I think it looks it's crazy. Yeah. It's just big and a lot of money. So I don't even though we moved to a big apartment, I don't have anywhere to put that and it's a lot of money. So it's it's good, it looks great, but it's just not not for me. Did I tell you I didn't see any mock ups of it yet. I haven't seen anything. They've just been teasing it via like they've been putting like Arabesh transmissions out there that people have been cracking in like seconds. Um Speaking of decorating, 
I have a video of the first time Kyle tried Beverly. I'm thinking about taking a screenshot of that when he t- spits it and then putting a picture up in my guest bathroom. Nice. I'm going to probably hilarious. have my dad try Beverly sure, again. Sure. He'll for- he are- he's definitely already forgotten. Yeah. He'll be like, Dad, try Beverly. It's the best. Yeah. He's going to drink it. Be like, oh, what the? What, what the um, f-? You have to beep him. <laughs> beep, beep. We mentioned earlier that we're getting six new episodes of Young Jedi Adventures. Maybe yes. on August 2nd, maybe this is when they go to Batu. Maybe, but if not... <laughs> It doesn't bother me because I liked it. It's it's good for what it is. And um, Star it's War- a great show. It yeah. is. Star Wars got a bunch of Emmy uh, nominations. That they did. Um, Mando and Andor. Andor got like best like drama, right? Or something I like can't that. Remember, I, I, I had it up so. on my phone, but my the phone's recording us right now, so E one on the ginger. <laughs> I mean, just I know that they went. They got for that. I think nominated. that was. I think it would deserve best drama. Oh, even for, though for I didn't sure. love it, it's Star Wars, so I'm going to vote for it. It was dramatic. I'm with you. Very very dramatic. You want to talk about Phasma real quick before we get into listener questions? Yeah, sure. Yeah. So I'm about about a quarter. It's a to... very timely review. Yeah, right. <laughs> so timely. I, before you, you joined us, I was like, it's been out for like five or six years. but <laughs> um, So I'm like almost a third of the way through it. And the whole flashbacks every 20 pages to Phasma's past is really annoying. But everything else is great. So if you can just get past the random, fla- not random, but the flashbacks back to Phasma as a kid, it's awesome. The whole, everything with Vi is awesome. Everything with Cardinal is awesome. And I, we haven't Cardinal's even gotten... Cardinal's the standout character of that book, man. Yeah. The more I read it, the more I'm like, why isn't this called Cardinal? Like, what are we doing? Yep. They just did Phasma because it's a recognizable name from the movie. They're like, people will know this and buy it. And, but, and at the time, remember, it was a, it was a lead up to The Last Jedi. So yeah. people were like very curious about her. And Yeah. But I'm so. I'm learning a ton about Vi. Like I thought I knew a lot about Vi, but nope, it makes me even look stupid. So it's nice to learn about things that I thought I already knew. Ran into Vi last night on Batu. Nice. Yeah, That's she was good. out there scouting for uh, some secret stuff. I can't say. I can't say. Yeah. The First Order's over here listening. That's true. Right. First Order is the worst order, by the way. Just Sometimes that's true. Know. Sometimes. Sometimes. Oh, are we going to take ourselves a different path there on the Halcyon? Well, I mean, I did last time. So I think this third and final voyage, which we'll talk about later in listener questions. Okay. But I think this is going to be like... Let's get to listener questions because yeah. i got to wrap this up soon. Yes. Yeah. So I think we can uh, jump into that now. I don't know if that's the first question or not, but we're going to go down we'll the We'll pull list. it up, Evan. Um, it's actually the top one. So we'll start with that from our good buddy, Drew, um, from Heroes of the Halcyon podcast. Hello, Drew. So Hello, he Heroes said, of the Halcyon. He said, I saw Evan is going back to the Halcyon. What is he hoping to accomplish on his final voyage? Well, a lot of things. Um, I am making a whole big shopping list here for the gifts I'm going to give to the casting crew. So that's one thing, is to actually give gifts to everybody. Because I've only given something to one Saja. That says 11-inch DI. What is that? Well, I didn't finish. Di- I didn't, oh, yeah, right. you can fill the rest in. <laughs> I'll fill the rest in with your... <laughs> Go on, Evan. <laughs> Anyhow. Uh, yes, yeah, so I'm planning all the gifts I'm going to give to the casting crew and planning all the things I'm going to buy in the merchandise shop for myself and for Tom and Brad, of course, but story wise, I know one thing you should, I know one thing you should give to the crew. Do say, let's hear it. It be- should be, get a button ready. Oh, I'm there. <laughs> I'm hovering over it three. Should be a, it should be a, uh, template for a resume. That's what you should give all the cast and crew of the housing. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I say that with love. God, you, Just kidding. you know, they're all going to be probably an oh. epic universe. Honestly, <laughs> I hope they're all at Epic Universe. They all deserve that. Uh, uh, you can edit that out if you want. <laughs> no, no, I'm not because we're. I thought it was we're funny. the edgy Jedi. Or we're we're the edgy Star Wars and show. They're we all love smart. everybody. It's a fucking joke. Yeah, they're all smart. Joke. They know it's a joke. They're in entertainment, just yeah. like us. Hey, you know what, gentlemen? We should, we should thank God we're doing video tonight. We should really capitalize on these writer strikes, so we so because we're the only entertainment around these parts now. So <laughs> we're gonna go on a podcasting strike, actually, so we can get paid a livable wage. <laughs> no, we're just gonna well, kick you off the show so we can afford things. That's fair. <laughs> but uh, yeah. So and then lastly, for this final voyage, I mean, there's a million things, but the big points here is lastly, this is gonna be like Flavorettes. the final draft of my character. Like the first one was kind of like the rough draft. <laughs> the final order. Right, the final order. <laughs> and then the second voyage was like refining it and seeing what I could really do and tweak the character. But this last voyage is gonna be like the, the last draft of my character. So. It's going to start the same, where it's the same backstory going in with First Order in mind, but a lot of deviation is going to happen. So last last voyage was a lot of Saja and a lot of Wraith. 
This one, I'm hoping, can get a little bit of Wraith, but uh, depending how Wraith is. Because, like, you know, Wraith is Wraith. But Saja might steal me a little bit, but I'm hoping it's Sammy and Captain Keevan so I can kind of see some more of that resistance side. Because I've already seen everything First Order. I've seen most things Saja and most things Wraith. But I really haven't touched anything resistance. So I want to see that side of the story and get my, my character just fully rounded and complete. So Sweet. There you go, Drew. Looking Thank you for the question, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you for the and question. follow Heroes of the Hell scene on Instagram. Oh, yeah. They're going to do big things at San Diego Comic-Con. So go to San Diego Comic-Con, too, and support them. Um, Molly Eckert says, not a question, but thanks for the heads up not, in parentheses, <laughs> that the Yubnub would leave me dancing out of Ogas like a hussy. Thanks, buddy. That's my friend Molly. She used to do, I used to produce her podcast. Yeah, I remember Molly. And, yeah. Uh, yeah, she's awesome. So she had fun at Ogas. She was texting me about Ogas. Nice. <laughs> so, yeah. She w- she asked for a drink recommendation. I said the best bang for your buck was the Yubnub. That's and 100%. Listened, and doesn't drink, and so that's a pretty hefty drink. Oh, yeah, it's the biggest one and so. probably... Top two or three best tasting ones, too. Like, it's good. Yeah, absolutely. So what's up, Molly? What's up, girl? What's up, girl? Aaron E. Kramer wants to know, what is the dollar amount of the most expensive Star Wars item you've ever purchased? Hoping to justify my own purchases. Thanks in advance. (laughs) Well, it's Uh, the Halcyon. Not counting the Halcyon. Yeah. um, Yeah. yeah. But I think the individual item would probably be... The cow saber. I, I, it's the first thing yeah. I turned my head to in here. I, I turned I to the left, it, and I'm, I'm, I wish I did. Like I didn't pay that. I didn't pay, I, for the cow saber was four hundred twenty six dollars. I paid after tax. Um, was the Ahsoka box set that much, Brad? No. Yeah, they were the same price. Wait, All right. It was that much. Yeah, it was two yeah. sabers in that one. I that one plays I music spent 400 too. Four hundred bucks on a box. Man, I, I got spent four hundred bucks on Kyle's mom's box. Ooh. <laughs> I was gonna say uh, it. Uh, we are all were thinking it. So. I can't say it. <laughs> <laughs> we all were thinking it. So, uh. <laughs> if they were on speaker, I would have been like, "I spent four hundred dollars on your grandma's box." <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> I'm gonna crash this car. Oh, no, <laughs> please. <laughs> 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 Holy crap. <laughs> <laughs> we need this strike to end so we can have real entertainment uh, back so people aren't stuck with us. Um, so wait, Tom, so Cal, Tom and Brad Tom both have Cal, right? right? The, Brad, you have cows? The most ex- yeah, 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 yeah. Brad's got cows. So okay, dang. It would be um, cow. Yeah, I do have cows. Yeah, so I wish cows I did. I couldn't. I still can't. I was looking at my two most so. expensive. Two, well, I, uh, crate, Luke on crate wasn't as much as cow, but. Yeah, yeah, that's it. For me, I didn't yeah, buy that I, one, so I wanted to buy that saber, but I didn't. But for me, um, the Black Series Kylo Ren helmet, I had to buy on eBay because I didn't buy it when it first came out. So that's probably my most expensive. I spent two fifty on it on eBay. I plan on owning the Jabba's sail barge uh, Haslab at some point, so that will be the most I spend on a thing, if, I'm certain. That thing just keeps holding its value, so yeah. that will probably be it ultimately. Yeah, um, for me, I that's, think, you know, that's I, years down the line. I think if I ever find money in a bonus somewhere, or if I find it on the street, I might finally buy a Saj Ventress's lightsaber. I want Ventress so, so bad. It, like, that that might the be the most Cal expensive. Are the two yeah. ones that I just wish that I had, but I, I can't justify. I couldn't justify Ventress two back then when it first came out, but I didn't know Ahsoka's box set was that expensive. It was. So yeah. I guess Ahsoka's box set for me, and then Kylo's helmet. So there you go. All right, next question. Thank you for that question. Also, you don't need justification if it's something that you're valid. If it's valid to you. Buy it. That's fair. I mean, maybe to your significant other, but you know, this is a little parallel to the bourbon world. There's a lot of people who, you know, there's these certain bottles that people want that are really expensive because you can't find them anywhere. And to some people, it's not worth it. To some people, it is. If it's worth it to you, then spend the money on it. And I mean, who knows too? Like maybe one day the Halcyon Sabers we own are going to be four hundred bucks. So that might be the most expensive thing we own. Lord. Yeah. But maybe. Yeah. yeah, man. But we didn't pay for that. But we, yeah, that's not the most expensive thing I've ever purchased. Was the saber? Yeah. So. And then our next one is from Justin D. Tate. How long will the Rebels recap be before the first episode? <laughs> Do you think non-Rebels fans, <laughs> perish the thought, are going to be turned off by the show? No. Uh, 
No, not at all. I think they're going to do a great job of, of looping it in. And I know this because my dad has not seen Rebels before. He's a pretty big Star Wars fan. I told him, I said, you need to watch it just so you're you know caught up before Ahsoka. And I, he's stoked for Ahsoka. So, Ahsoka? You know, maybe he's until... Stoked. He's Ahsoka. Did I say Ahsoka? I had no, a, no, I was, I was I had buying a it. Ahsoka. <laughs> hey. Ahsoka. Oh, that's um, hilarious. Uh, Maybe until a character turns woke or something, then he'll be upset. Oh but a character woke turns uh, woke. Uh, <laughs> a woke. I'm a stoked. A I'm a stoked, and I don't want to go a broka watching the oh a woke. No, here, here's the best one. A soka they know. A <laughs> soka they know. Soka they know. I like a woke tano. A woke. A woke tano. A soka them know. Oh, um, no, I think I think they're gonna they're gonna crush it. I don't think anyone's gonna be turned off by it. I think it'll make. I think it'll be the opposite. I think it'll make people go back and watch Rebels. Absolutely, 100%. because they're yeah. gonna be like, "Oh my god, I want to know more, more about Zeb. I want to know more about Hera." Yeah. Yep. So. Mando's already done that a little bit, but Ahsoka's gonna push yeah. that gonna to the next more. level. Yeah. The but Rebels, I think 100%. how long do you think the Rebels they're gonna do like this? a three minute recap? Minute and a half. Oh, my guess is four minutes and twenty seven seconds. Okay, that's long. So I'm kind of right in the middle there. So I'm saying yeah, like three. But yeah. I say a minute and a half, two minutes. There's some important stuff that happened in Rebels, so I'm just kind of going. I'm sh- overshooting my shot here, but that's, that's all right. fair. But yeah. it's like what's important versus what connects to that first episode of Ahsoka. Yeah, it's so like they don't oh, have to true. show you every little detail that's happened in Rebels. They just that's have to true. show you what like relates to this episode. Now I feel shitty about what I guess, but I'm gonna I'm just gonna stick with it. <laughs> yeah, I, I like think that. You're probably right because there is it is dense even though it's only four seasons. Yeah, it's dense. It's still dense. There's not yes. a lot of filler. It's like no, it's very dense. Almost every episode, something yeah, yeah. important. The happens. only yeah, even the episodes where where Chopper has to go murder other droids, those are those are important to the story. <laughs> they better not <laughs> oh, leave out the fact. Chopper in live action, by the way. Oh yes. yeah. Oh, that was oh, so close. close. But they better not leave out the fact in this recap that the Rebels crew murdered an RX droid, an innocent RX droid. <laughs> Don't forget that. Internet. Never forget that these rebels. 11, huh? Rebels are not innocent. They murdered an our ex <laughs> All right, what's the next question? Yeah, what's what's next? Five next? miles until I met Bucky's. So this uh, certain listener that we all may or may not know, named Taylor Yesmar, wants Who? to know. Taylor. Taylor Yesmar. Who? Who's that? I think she was on a Halcyon voyage with you once. Oh. Maybe. Okay. She wants to th- know if we think we will see Anakin in the Ahsoka series or possible Clone 100%. Wars flashbacks. Yeah, it'll be flashbacks, but yeah, yes, absolutely. No, I said this two years ago. Force Ghost, Force Ghost. yeah, and I'm going to Force drop Ghost. dead I see that. when I see it could an be Anakin. both. Anakin's Force Ghost that. talk to Why Ahsoka. Not both? It will be both. Yeah, we deserve both. Yes, yes, we do. Um, and if it's Clone Wars flashbacks, it could be more than Anakin. You could get some Obi Wan in there. You could do a lot of things with that. Padme, something like. Pad- Who knows what they filmed while they were on set for Obi Wan Kenobi? Right. Padme and Ahsoka had a pretty good relationship too. Like it's underrated. People they did. don't talk about how nicely those two got along. How, how are they going to film that? They're going to de-age Rosario Dawson. Mm, that's a good point. How do you do young Ahsoka? You get Ashley Eckstein to dress up as Ahsoka Tano. Right. <laughs> I'm down for that. Who is Oh, it? I might. That would be amazing. Oh, oh, I should say she's going to cameo in this, right? I think so. She should. She I mean, they got to do something. She has and to. spoilers for Little Mermaid, but Jody Benson oh, popped yeah, up. Oh, yeah, Jody Benson. Either yeah, that or the most or... long drawn out cameo I've ever seen in my life. Yeah. It was not the longest, come on. <laughs> that was great. I'm just kidding. Um, I just it... don't like that Little Mermaid was black. That's my biggest problem with the movie, you know? Yeah, it was that's totally, totally woke, it. right? No! Totally. Because that, that's what Fox News told me to say. Yep, there you yeah. go. <laughs> <laughs> and, that, and that new QAnon uh, movie that, that isn't really a QAnon movie. But, and then um, we have three questions left. So our next one is from Duchess underscore cosplay. Are there any critiques you've seen regarding the upcoming Ahsoka series that you agree with? Personally, I think it's all looked most impressive. Oh no, I'm down. I haven't seen any. I actually haven't the seen any. The only complaint I've seen is like Thrawn looks goofy, but like I don't agree with that. Well, so. You know what? That person looks goofy. Yeah, yeah, they do. Yeah. That person. Time to look in the mirror. Yeah, yeah. you are goofy. The, then you judge Steve Burns. Unnamed person. Thrawn. I, that's the only thing I've heard though. I haven't heard any complaints. No, I oh I haven't. The only if I see a complaint, it's Kathleen Kennedy needs to be fired. This is stupid. And just shut up. Ahsoka's great. Sure. You suck. Okay. Yeah. yeah whatever. Any more questions? Our next question is yes. from, I love this name, Denny Fandoms. Like fandoms. Ah, yeah, yeah, Denny Fandoms. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> What's going on? 
Another flashback related question. Will we get flashbacks did I just Winston? to see yes, yes you did. Will we What's get up, flashbacks Winston? to see the Clone Wars and will we see Zeb? I think of course the Oh most. Zeb's in Zeb's it. 100%. Yeah, for, we saw him in Mando three. Yeah, you can't was... have Rebel season five without Zeb. He was in the trailer. No. You saw the back we... of his head. Fair. Do we know if this the beginning of this show is going to take place before we see her with Luke, or does it pick up from that point? Have they some said of the stuff in the yet? trailer looks like a shot for shot recreation of Rebels, where like it's Ahsoka approaching Sabine, looking at that painting. Like some of it looks like a shot for shot. Yeah, wasn't yeah. Sabine? I don't know. So what? So when we saw Ahsoka depart Luke, she was going to to Sabine Wren, right? I don't think yeah, it was but ever you think confirmed. they're gonna have, any of this is gonna take place? Like, do you think there'll be a few episodes before, like, we see her get with Luke and how that all happens? Because we don't even know how that happens. Right. This is what the recap's gonna have to tell us. Yeah, I think the main like time that we follow of the show, the like quote present day of the show, will be oh. after that Luke thing. But I think we'll get stuff. It's before. during. Um. Yes. After that Luke thing. Um. I heard Filoni or Favreau say that this is during. Mando season three. That this season okay. is alongside Mando season three. Yeah. Okay. That Perfect. makes sense. And then our last question. question is: Rev O the Jedi. What if we get to see Bo Katan, played by Katie Sackhoff, make an appearance in the Ahsoka series? I think we will. It's gonna happen. Yeah. I think. Oh, I want to see her and Sabine together again. Oh like, yeah. After Absolutely. after the, everything that happened with Mandalore. My God. Oh yeah. I want to see them talk that about it. That has to happen. And I've. Guarantee that's happened. That's that. That is one of those things where it's like, if you don't get that cast back together, you're crazy. Yeah, that's all, that's a given. You like have to do that. Well, we say that, but they didn't do it in the Force Awakens. So, I have a listener question. <laughs> I, I am Tom, the listener, and I have. Will we see a Force ghost, Kane and Jarrus? Oh yeah. Uh, I hope so, and I hope it's Freddie Prince. Jr. It's can't be anybody else but Freddie yeah, Prince Jr. Are you kidding me? Gotta be him. Talking to Ezra. It's got to be sure. Ezra. Sure, yeah. It's got to be, yeah. Ezra and 100%. him communicating? Absolutely. Well, yeah. man, Brad, anything else you want to say before we cut it loose today? We've been about an hour here. No, love you guys. Uh, have a great week, and I will see you when I get back. I don't know how long I'll be gone, so the next show will probably be remote, too. You love us? Don't but, be drunk uh, driving, Brad. <laughs> Dude, what would you say? <laughs> you said you love us. Don't be drunk driving out there. I love you. That's, how, that's my tell. You guys know I've been drinking when I text you guys. I love you. But I love you guys. Be safe. Yes. Have a good weekend. Love Thanks for too, listening. Uh, I will thank you for listening. We'll see you on the next show. Um, be safe, and then I don't forget what else I say. You say, "May the force be with you." And then May I the say, force be with you always. And tabuite. rise, Jedi Knight. I'm at Bucky's. <laughs>